What's up Cancer? This is going to be a love check-in for the second half of September. This is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you are new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I offer personal readings. The info is in the description box of the video. However, there is a long wait for a reading with me. If you wanted to explore your options, I put links to my affiliates in the description box as well. Mystic Sense will give you your first five minutes reading free. Spiritual Blossom will give you a bonus $10 if you deposit 20. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you wanted to follow me on um, social media, on TikTok or Instagram, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. Now, Cancer, I'm going to do the person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Then how do you feel about them? Then the projected potential outcome for the second half of September. For anyone that's new, the reason why I say potential is that I infuse law of assumption into my readings. And this is just a check in and it's one version of you and the person and the circumstances that are unfolding that you have effectively manifested and selected out of the infinite that is available right now. Creation is finished. Um, your desires are meant for you. If you'd like to manifest this differently, it only requires a shift in your state of consciousness, the version of cancer that you're being and the version of the person that you are selecting. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do some looking into the lawyer assumption. Look at some of the content that I've posted. Um, look at some coaches on YouTube um, or read some Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, and it will make sense. I also teach as I go. Okay, guys? All right, so the person on Cancer's mind, I just saw the world card in the reverse. So you could be um, separated by distance, some of you, but otherwise in the reverse, this is just like a bit of a round and round or unfinished business. So there could be something that just keeps going kind of round and round. Let me have a look. Can the person on Cancer's mind, how do they feel about Cancer as we move into the first half of September? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, mixed feelings or confusion. Seven of Cups, Cancer, Ace of Swords, but wanting to come out of the confusion, wanting to get clear on things, perhaps have a conversation. And we've got the Hermit card, a little bit of a distant energy. So this person's like trying to get clear on things, maybe doing some soul searching around the situation, definitely wanting to come out of the confusion. Um, let's see, Chariot card, also about travel. So for some of you, again, there could just be physical distance between the two of you and that's causing kind of mixed feelings, um, you know, or a distant kind of an energy. And the full card in the reverse with the eight of cups in the reverse. Could be cancer, this person that you're connected to, it could kind of go round and round, as I said, with the world card in the reverse and I trust what I channel when I'm opening and the cards that I see. Um, this is like not willing to kind of disconnect or walk away from the situation cancer but on the other hand there seems to be confusion maybe about like how, can this move forward in a positive direction um if you are di a bit disconnected from this person this is like not wanting to walk away and also potentially like a return now happening in the second half of september the full card in the reverse, it's like maybe un, it, to date, it's been like, okay, can we move this along or I'm not really fully ready? So there's confusion and mixed feelings. For those of you that are separated by distance, that could be the thing because this could require like a move or a relocation or the distance could be creating confusion, mixed feelings, you know, and um, a feeling of disconnect. And the full in the reverse, it's like, okay, should we take a leap? Someone here hasn't been fully ready to take the leap, maybe to really go for it, okay? Like, I mean, maybe it's about, like I said, the relocation or to really take things to the next level in your connection or something like that. Now guys, for the Seven of Cups, for some of you, it could be like confusion and mixed feelings like other other energies around. Um, so if this has been feeling a bit non-committal, that could be something that's coming through and there's a wanting to actually have a conversation maybe about that or get to the truth of things. Um, let me see about this hermit card. Yeah, this seems to be this, you know, like either the issue has been avoided, something has been avoided being um, discussed and it's caused confusion. Maybe this is about like, you know, where is this headed or um, are there other energies around, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, or it's just seven of swords can be trust issues. 
right? Um, so that I feel is what's coming through and it's wanting maybe to have a new start that feels more honest and more truthful. Um, and I don't even say that in a sinister way, guys. Sometimes things just don't feel very clear. So it's like maybe we can have a new start that feels more clear. Um, we've got Virgo energy and we've got Aquarius energy. We've got the Nine of Cups here. So this person, um, there's definitely a feeling of pleasure and joy between the two of you, Nine of Cups. But there's confusion. Maybe it's like, is this just a bit of fun? Or can this be more? You know, um, and again, there could be a feeling of trust issues. Like, okay, are you out and about having a, having a time? Do you have other people? Do you have other options? You could feel that way about them, Cancer. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Are we on the same page for the future vision? So there's a lack of clarity here. I mean, this is you, Cancer, with the chariot card. So I feel like there's a wanting to move things along, move things in a positive direction. Um, for some of you, it could also be a conversation. Can we move out of this um, confusion? And if there are other energies, can we move away from that? And maybe, you know, are we going to take a leap of faith um, and go for it? Because right now, the future vision, it's like, have you been on the same page? Right? There's uncertainty around that. Let me have a look. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the, and the Ace of Wands. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles, which would be about family, commitments, long-term vision, is in the reverse. No shortage of passion, but the Nine of Pentacles is more an independent, single energy. So like I said, you know, for some of you, this could be the situation, right? Like there's confusion. Is this going to develop into something more stable or is it about, you know, more about pleasure, fun and chemistry? Okay, guys. And this reading's not for everyone, guys. Don't take it if it's not yours. And also, guys, so unrelevant. I say it in all my reads. I only read them for context, their thoughts and feelings, because they do have them. But it's just a version. And honestly, when you change um, your thoughts that you're projecting on the situation and your dominant assumptions about them, there is another version available. They're going to change the way they think and feel. So you can throw it all away at the end of the reading, guys. Um, it will make sense. Those who follow me regularly know exactly what I'm saying. And those who are new, you'll understand more when I do your side of the street, which is more relevant because we're going to look into what you actually want. And if there are any blocks, you can make adjustments. So there's a lot of chemistry and passion here, but there's a lot of confusion. Someone's not really taking control of matters. We've got the Emperor card in the reverse and there could be trust issues around whether or not this could develop into something very stable. Um, Emperor card in the reverse is like the shadow of the Emperor card. So it's like lack of structure, lack of effort. Um, there could be questions around career, money and finances and that's stalling the situation, causing confusion. Um, and for others of you, you know, the Emperor card in the reverse can be control issues. So that could be, can actually be possessiveness and jealousy. So there's confusion. So if for those of you where it's like mixed feelings, is there another energy or other people in the mix? There could be trust issues, founded or unfounded. You know, if there's a feeling of like lack of clarity, this could be what's the theme. Seven of Swords, lack of trust, you know, um, not clear. And, um, you know, Nine of Cups, there could be a negative assumption like, oh, this is just fun or you know, maybe they, they're not clear where you're at cancer. They could feel like, well, maybe you just want to have, a... I'm, again, guys, I'm not giving you shit. I'm giving you the other side of this, of the street, just for like what they, what they could be thinking, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, but they could be feeling like, oh, maybe cancer just wants a good time. They're not really con taking control of matters, or they could be aware cancer that they've not really stepped it up. You could be dealing with a boss or, um, someone that's very career focused, but maybe they don't, feel like they're where they need to be in order to have the 10 of pentacles or you know that could be how they feel about you cancer and it's been stalled and it's like just feeling very unclear what's the direction can we move this along um definitely passion cancer so they want to reignite the passion you've got two aces on the table passion and honesty okay and three of pentacles so this is about career um, so for some of you, that is the block, the confusion, the mixed feelings, like maybe it, there's a feeling that this is, connection hasn't really been prioritized. And then that triggers, you know, questions around loyalty or trust issues, founded or unfounded guys. Now, Cancer, if you're the one that's questioning this and you're feeling insecure about it, you just got to 
nip it in the bud. I say it in all my reads when this theme comes up. You might have selected a version of a connection that's where you feel someone's not prioritizing you, not committing to you, and they will absolutely come in and give you your 10 of pentacles and give you exactly what you want if you select a new version with your mind. Don't try to manipulate the circumstances here. You just need to affirm, no, we have a very loving, committed relationship. We're both on the same page. That's how it works, guys. Okay, so three of pentacles. There is a wanting to maybe cooperate and get on the same page. But there's also a king of swords and a four of pentacles. There's insecurity, like holding back. Now, king of swords can be definitely about honesty and truth. So there's maybe a feeling mutually like holding back on conversations or things that need to be said. But the king of swords, four of pentacles is, is yeah, insecurity um, could be, again, insecurity around money and finances that's playing into this, like a, a feeling unready to really like settle down or go for it. Or this could be, you know, king of swords can be a bit cold and detached kind of energy. Maybe that is what's going on now, not giving you shit cancer. They could feel like you come across that way, then they could come across that way. Ten of Pentacles and then the reverse could be like unhealthy patterns that have come from like family and childhood dynamics. I'm not going to go so deep into that stuff, guys, because you can adjust it. You need to change your state of consciousness, the version of cancer you're being and make new assumptions about them. So we don't need to go into avoidant attachment theory and all of that, guys. It's a label. So there's another version of a person that's not, a, not avoidant and you guys have a much more secure relationship but king of swords four of pentacles could be insecurities insecurities in like with feelings not knowing how to really express um, and that could be an energy between the two of you that causes trust issues and suspicion um you know uh, king of swords yeah i mean they're still wanting to have an honest conversation and get to the truth of things so that could be what's coming through cancer um I'm going to do your side of the street. Definitely opportunity for a new start. Definitely chemistry and passion. There's confusion when it comes to feelings. Okay. The only cups card that's really in the upright, um, well, seven of cups, but that's mixed feelings. The nine of cups is pleasure and joy. This could be definitely a wish fulfillment, but what's getting in the way is, you know, this assumption that maybe the other one is not really taking control of matters, not really leading, not really clear. Um, and like I said, cancer, you don't need to wait for this person to shift and change. Even on this timeline, it looks like this person wants to move things along and have a conversation with you, but you know, you can absolutely affirm for whatever you want guys and manifest whatever you want. Go and look online, look into law of assumption and manifesting. So let's take a look at you, cancer. How do you feel about them? Ace of cups, cancer. So you want a new start, page of swords. You could feel like there's an observation energy. So even if you get a bit distant with one another, Page of Swords would be maybe observing, watching online, but it would also be about conversation. The moon, though, you feel like things are not clear. Did I say the signs? Aquarius, yeah, I did. But we've also got Aries, guys, with that Emperor card in the reverse. Okay, Cancer, how do you feel about this person? Ten of Wands. Something's weighing on the connection. Burdens. I mean, the burdens could be financial, they could be distance, they could be lack of transparency. Um, how do you feel about this person, Cancer? Whoa, the tower, okay. Um, tower, I mean, tower is like what's not working must go. So there could be a bit of this tense energy between you and this person. Maybe you have had a tower. As I said, you know, if there's been disconnect, eight of cups in the reverse is a wanting to return. So maybe there's been a blow up because of trust issues or lack of transparency. Let's see. Yeah, the four of cups is in the reverse. So there's a feeling of emotional rejection and you're wanting to come out of that. Um, and you're wanting to come out of the seven of cups. This is in the reverse, guys. So this person feels confused. They want to clarify things. You've been feeling confused. You've been feeling a bit emotionally rejected in this situation. You want to come out of that. Also, for those of you where there really are other energies in the mix, and that's what's crystallized, that's the version of the situation and circumstances, you seem to want to come out of that too. So there is opportunity, guys, to do that, right? You need to make new assumptions, not, oh God, like this person isn't choosing me because they'll come in, even if they come in on this timeline, they want to have a conversation with you. If you're holding them in the dominant assumption that they're not trustworthy, 
because you see like <laughs> if for example cancer it's like even if you're you're manifesting everything so if you're manifesting a relationship with this person but you have an assumption that they're not going to choose and that's coming down to some subconscious belief that you're not the chosen one you're not enough or some kind of a fear or insecurity they're going to come in and like a character in your show and just like confirm that belief you may even preemptively sabotage or something guys so anyway i mean yeah you and please don't give me shit guys that they're all in the reverse you can clearly see that they're meant to be because look at these double cards um the ace of swords is in the reverse you this person has ace of swords in the upright there's a wanting to get to the they want to get to the truth and have a conversation you seem to not be trusting the situation and there's confusion and lack of truth so cancer there is opportunity here to actually have a conversation come out of this energy um okay we've got the hierophant card in the reverse and then we've got the nine of cups in the upright guys so a lot of double cards there's questions here around commitment there also might be questions whether you're on the same page when it comes to your values maybe someone is seemingly wanting something very traditional and someone is coming across as non-committal again coming across guys you can fuck this all in a bucket if you feel like this person's never going to commit to you and that's your assumption and that's even if they've even said it guys or done certain things if you actually want it cancer it doesn't matter you just need to start affirming um, consciously with your thoughts no they're committed to me they want me they want only me we're in a loving committed stable relationship look at any coach they will tell you I also just posted a, a video about manifesting the conscious and subconscious mind guys so it'll explain to you the mechanics of it but there's something about you know are you on the same page do you share the same values someone might be seemingly non-committal definitely pleasure and fun nine of cups you both might mutually feel like each one is only out for that so again there could be just mutual assumptions you don't want me I don't you don't want me you don't want me and then there could be a coldness and a lack of clarity guys I mean it could just be that's the thing um, and it is whatever you say it is in the end of the day guys so whatever but let's look at this ace of swords in the reverse two of cups in the reverse I know there's a lot of reversals guys but I already explained why they're coming out perfectly we do have the nine of pentacles in the upright as you can see it's perfect here's the nine of pentacles in the upright so this has led to things feeling a bit one-sided and you both have nine of pentacles in the upright so there's a lot of this self-focus energy or an assumption the other one um, doesn't want anything serious is more focused on self being single or career focused I mean king of pentacles in the reverse is lack of commitment or questions around loyalty and commitment so I do think that there could have been a previous blow up or something that's caused this disconnect around these themes and issues cancer um, because I've got justice card five of wands so this is a sense of tension conflict and feeling like you need to maybe compete for love or other energies in the mix or other competing interests or an assumption around that and now it's like things need to be balanced out for a small portion of you cancer like justice card marriage and divorce and legal matters are playing into it so there's been an inability to really actually go for it take the leap and actually move things along okay um that could be something that is in the process like justice card there could just be unfinished business things that need to be tied up and in the meantime a lot of just focus on fun and pleasure so that's for some of you okay but yeah you're you're wanting to sort of have something balanced fair and um, come out of confusion you do feel this person's a soulmate but maybe you're questioning it you feel like it's one-sided there's a rejection wound here but you want to reconcile six of cups you have warm memories with this person you could have a long history with this person cancer some of you but not all of you some of you yes children are in the mix here someone may be like I'm, I'm not ready to commit because of what I've had in the past or there's still the energies around or something like that um, but it doesn't matter cancer you have to decide what you want I'm going to get the oracles just to like get more clarity on this um, because I do have three of cups in the reverse so this could be either the, the feeling like other energies are around this can be friends drinking I mean you both have nine of cups nine of cups so you both might feel like your attention is not on each other or you're not the priority or this can be a love triangle this is a very you know a portion of you 
it could be a feeling like there's either X's in the mix, six of cups, three of cups in the reverse, or still present energies that need to be cut out. And you can affirm and you can manifest away third parties, guys. I'm a fan of multi-world theory and you just need to test these theories that I teach you about. It's not like because I, you know, just because we have theories, there's plenty of people that do this and they actually manifest completely away circumstances, third parties, etc. So look into topics like that if this is your issue. But if you have manifested a situation where this is like a multi-party situation or a love triangle, or even if you're just feeling like someone is not choosing you, you need to change the story, the version of cancer that you're being. So you're the version of cancer that's chosen and in a loving, committed relationship. Don't focus on the third parties, etc. They will go away. You've then quantum shifted it into the reality and the timeline where all the pieces, once you've made that decision, you stick to it the pieces move in the, immediately and it manifests, okay? And how quickly that happens is really at the point of acceptance by your subconscious and your outer reality will, will reflect that, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. So you want reconciliation, okay? There has been some kind of a tension or a conflict. This person wants to have an honest conversation, shining light on what's been confusing with the hermit card. There's some kind of a not wanting to completely disconnect there's a wanting to return tensions around balance tensions around potentially legal matters um you know for some of you that could be immigration if you're at a distance from each other there just could be confusion around that that's another timeline and then also suspicion around well is this committal is this non-committal do you want to commit do you not want to commit are you prioritizing me are you out with other people whatever um so Let's have a look. We've got Taurus energy, Libra energy. Um, yeah, let's get some cards and see what's going on. What does this person want as we move into the second half of September? Yeah, this, this is risks and options. Something feels risky and also not showing hand. So either there's, they feel King of Swords like this has become a bit like, because uh, King of Swords can be a bit on that detached side. And that could be what's what's happened. There's a lot of confusion, mixed feelings. Um, there's something here about like, yeah, like not being truthful about feelings um, or this could feel risky in some kind of a way because for those of you where there's been, you know, um, past disappointments with relationships, relationships could feel like a risk. You could be dealing with someone that feels very much focused on their independence or money and career and not wanting to, you know, not feeling ready to take a leap, but fathers of you, you know, risks and options, they could feel like you have options, Cancer. Again, not giving you shit, so they might feel like it's a risk. There's something because it feels like there's a lack of clarity. This person could also feel like it's a risk to actually open up, and that could just be like a, a trait that they have. And I told you, Cancer, you don't need to hold them in, take this as fixed, okay? Like you've got the emotionally stunted or avoidant person, just fuck it away and just say, no, they're so available, they're so loving. Look at Sammy Ingram and those types of coaches because she's brilliant and a lot of them will tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Okay, paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness. Well, Cancer, that's the nine of cups and the nine of cups. You both, there's a sense of pleasure between the two of you. There's also honeymoon phase. So maybe there's a wanting to renew this and get back to that place of joy and happiness. And Cancer, if you're manifesting that, you absolutely can have that. Even on this timeline, there you pushed out Cancer. So even though they're not, um, they are independent and have thoughts and feelings, they're still the version you selected. So focus on the aspects that you want. This person's also half, half and confused. So that any confusion, hot and cold, or any of that is actually just you pushed out and you wavering between this person and I were in love, whatever version it is that you want. They do love me, they want me, it's the, I'm the only one, and then doubting it. And then the mirror gets wonky and you go in and out of different versions, different states, okay? Mirror, you're mirroring each other. So you are the dominant mirror cancer, okay? So you still, no one to really change but self and your dominant assumptions about the situation, they must mirror back to you who you are being and what you assume to be true, okay? However, on this timeline, yes, there could be a mirroring um, situation where, you know, oh, you're mirroring each other's um, insecurities or fears in some kind of a way. You both have a lot of this mixed feeling and maybe you both kind of, there's an energy being ping-ponged back and forth. Like 
feeling um, insecure, there's a rejection wound, not really feeling chosen, trust issues. Yeah, exactly. Healing heart, guys. Healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. Like you both could have had experiences and now you just need to be concerned, Cancer. The mirror is going to morph into the monster. If this person, say this person, look, seven of swords, there's all these trust issues. Now there could be past relationships that have, you know, um, contributed to these trust issues. And now there's trust issues between the two of you. Now this person might be showing up and you might be feeling triggered by something. Um, and you just need to look at what you need to change, Cancer. It's like you don't need to wait for this person to say or do certain things to make you feel that they are trustworthy. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? You need to select a version of a person. You could have had toxicity or abusive relationships. And so it's like you've got to change your, like, no, love is safe. No, this person does love me. No, people do choose me. I've always been loved. You can look into revision as well, Cancer. It will help you if you have a, a history, right? Because your, your history, what you have unconsciously selected from subconscious beliefs about self, then you have certain patterns in relationships or certain types of relationships that are not healthy. Then they confirm an assumption, okay? Or a limiting belief about yourself. And then you go and you, you can potentially manifest again and again, law of assumption, okay? because there's something here being triggered with this hiding true feelings okay so there's a lot of this hiding so what does this person want i mean you're mirroring one another cancer they do want to have an honest conversation with you but a conversation can go either way this person's half half they could feel like it's a risk for them to reveal their true feelings because they're not sure where you're at and you could feel it's risky you're not trusting them so affirm for what you want cancer because once you made the decision you fucking got it okay um let me get a romance angel for you guys all right there seems to be yeah some truth or conversation um coming through codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life let go of control issues the control issue guys is the withholding okay so sometimes because we've had the codependency past codependent relationships, codependent patterns. This is when we go into like the anxious, avoidant, blah, blah. Okay, um, there's control issues here, holding back on one another due to fear. Okay, um, someone not wanting to be vulnerable. So if you've selected the version of a person that holds back, okay, doesn't wanna lose control, well, you've selected the quote unquote avoidant. I've already given you guys the tips of how you can actually have this differently. Um, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction. Definitely, like I said, lots of attraction, lots of chemistry, lots of potentially pleasure. But if you wanna um, transform that into the committed, loyal, stable, healthy relationship, you also can get that, guys. Um, flirt, okay, reconciliation. So here's the thing. Definitely opportunity here in a comeback round for reconciliation, guys. What you want to do is maybe break the pattern or this version that keeps going round and round where you're not, you're both kind of questioning each other's feelings and not opening up. There's definitely questions, maybe definitely questions around like other, other energies, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So that could be the suspicion thing. Like with withholding feelings, then maybe there's negative assumptions, but you can reconcile that and make new assumptions guys uh, separation reconciliation after separation so that's confirming what i said before there's a distant feeling there's a wanting to come out of that distance there's a wanting to reconcile the issues and i've got honeymoon guys enjoy the bliss of holiday time together there was the paradise card before so if you're at a distance this could be about taking a trip together this is also about renewal opportunity for a new beginning a renewal of the love or maybe actually you can turn a non-commitment situation into something very committed if you shift into the state of knowing that you have that they will absolutely mirror back what you're assuming they're half half cancer and you're half half look very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and then we have new love which would be about a renewal of the love or cancer some of you are confused because you have more than one option so you're going to have to decide what you want. 
All right, Cancer, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.